What's going on, Sim Racers? This is Larry TJR Sim here, and today we are going to do the review of the Sparco Hypergrip gloves. I've been using these gloves for five months now, and I actually been trying to wear them out, and because uh, I didn't really think that any of these glove manufacturers could make something that lasted a long time. However, I am pleasantly surprised that these Sparcos are actually lasting quite a long time, and for the price point. Of, I think it's forty dollars or fifty dollars something like that uh, it's it's priced you know pretty well for the comfort actually it's very comfortable uh, off the bat so uh, fits like a glove <laughs> excuse the pun but anyway um, let's jump into it sizes you know when you get these gloves you they, they size from extra small to extra large I happen to wear a size 11 and uh, they do fit true to size being a size 11, uh, I would normally wear a size 11 or large in a normal size glove. My motorcycle gloves are, are size large. Uh, same thing here with these. Uh, so they fit true to size is what I've encountered as far as me. And I'm actually a very picky person when it comes to gloves, uh, riding motorcycles and stuff. Uh, I'm very cautious of this area here pushing off, especially when you're, you're talking about a motorcycle and you got a throttle hand here. You don't want your glove pushing your throttle you want to feel your throttle um, kind of the same concept when you're on your, your rim here you want to feel it you don't want your glove to stand off of it you know even if it's a, a few, a few uh, millimeters you know you don't want that you want to be able to grip it know you're gripping it feel it in the palm of your hand and stuff so these actually have a really good stretch to them uh, so I really like that they do actually have padding in here as well I didn't think that's needed Thought it was a little bit silly. Um, however, my hands do actually seem to have a little bit less fatigue after some long stints of, of sim racing throughout the day uh, with it. So, you know, it doesn't uh, hurt to have it there. What I've noticed is it doesn't get in the way, and that's the most important thing to me. Uh, it is a little bit extra cushion right there on the palms of your hands, which I do like, uh, but mainly it doesn't get in the way. Now, uh, there's not a whole lot to say about, you know, about gloves. Gloves are gloves, right? But, you know, the fitment is really the most important thing about a glove. Fitment in between your fingers. They go all the way down into your fingers when you wear a proper size. Uh, the ends of the gloves don't protrude out. Um, there we go. Don't protrude out a lot of extra there. So if you are handling a... You can see right there. So if you're handling a mouse, grab my mouse here, you're able to um, you know, utilize your mouse real, real nice and easy. When you're uh, pushing buttons on your push button, on your button boxes rather, uh, whether you're using uh, like DSDs like I have or the AccuForce button box here, you know, you're pushing with your palms, but uh, your their bottom of your fingers and stuff, but you don't have all this extra glove in the way that uh, when you have let's say like household your normal uh, winter gloves and stuff a lot of times uh, they'll stick out uh, past your fingers and you lose feeling on it and stuff so you don't have that problem with these uh, in all your fingers and in fact it actually has removable uh, fingers here that and so it makes it really easy when you grab your cell phone and uh, your cell phone may not uh, you know, uh, allow touch gestures and stuff. So you're able to, you know, pull it out, pull out your, pull out your finger <laughs> and, uh, and, and answer your phone on, on the fly and stuff, which is really handy to do because I, I generally have that issue come up and it actually works on both of them here as well. So whether you're left or right handed, you do have access to your fingers. Uh, so you can, uh, manipulate, uh, keep, you know, uh, screens and stuff touch screens and stuff it may even be your tablets you may have tablets set up over here to the side that you need to scroll through and stuff so that's actually a very handy feature you don't have to take off your glove uh, that's a feature i really like uh, besides the perforation and stuff now everything is like i said is perforated really nicely it's a very cool feeling glove uh, you can wear this for many many hours and not get hot and like i said i'm generally a person that does get warm fairly easy and especially when you're around the pc and stuff it produces a lot of heat so 
The back side of it is it's, it's really comfortable. Um, I like the comfort level on this. I like the, the piping, the stitching that they have on here. Uh, it looks pretty cool. It's not obnoxious looking and it's Sparco. I mean, who doesn't like Sparco, right? Sparco is well known in the industry uh, of racing. So it's kind of cool to have Sparco gloves as well uh, for sim racing if you're a little bit of a geek like me. Uh, same thing here. So yeah, I do like them as far as that goes. Now, I do have a couple couple cons on this thing. And the first off, the first con would be this Sparco logo here. Now, let's see if I can, I'm gonna just take the glove off here. So in the very beginning, this Sparco logo, it's, if you see in here, uh, let's see it get in there real tight. There's a little bit of where the top half of the rubber attaches to the bottom half. It came off within the first week. Uh, what I ended up having to do is use Gorilla Glue and <laughs> re-glue it down and I haven't had any problems since. It took about three weeks for the, for the other one to do it. But after some time, you know, I got it cleared up and, and, it, and it all works just fine. So, so like I was saying, uh, that did come off and yeah. That was really the major con. I thought that was kind of pretty cheesy that the, that happened right off the beginning. But, uh, you know, I used better glue and it's, they stayed just fine. Uh, now, the only other thing I would notice as far as wear and tear goes, and is that is in these little Velcro straps are sticky, is uh, the white piping there. You can get in close here. I don't know if it, it doesn't look like it's going to show up, but... Basically what you get, you get a little bit of stress cracks across here from it wearing it. Okay, that's that's understandable. Not really a big deal, but I do want to point it out because this is a review and this isn't like a, a two week review. This is the five month review of this product. So it does actually show how well these are actually holding up. So, you know, yes, you get a little bit of little uh, stretch cracks in this uh white pipe in here but that's it it's actually hardly not even noticeable as you can see on camera but with the naked eye you could actually tell let me see if this one shows up a little bit better no it's, i just noticed it in the little ones so anyway other than that that's fine now as far as the palm goes you can see here perforated on the fingers as well and it does show like on the thumb here it shows some oops i'm about to drop one showing a little bit of the fuzzness coming up on there a little knurling up there uh, and that's just from normal wear and tear uh, with a fast moving alcantara rim you will get a little bit of wear and tear on it and i have had a little bit of fade uh, on the palm here between the black and the red and stuff just the material uh, blending in together from using it for so long uh, and that's the only other thing that I've noticed after five months so all in all though man, these things really held up well I really like them I would actually recommend these to anybody that needs gloves and uh, for for their sim racing obviously uh, but other than that only two little niggles on, on the on the cons the rest of it is all pluses and stuff so you know, uh, between the fingertips, being able to remove your fingertips to access for your phone usage, awesome. The comfort is 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 really good. They uh, it's very cool feeling. You don't have extra material on the tips here. Everything's nice and sewn in, and uh, it's stretchy enough that when you do grip something, it it doesn't feel like it's pulling. Uh, on your hand or anything because the top half is is nice and loose basically where you'd want it but the bottom half uh, sticks to your palms you don't have when you get true to size you know you don't have this extra material on your palm and stuff so yeah very good I really like these gloves I can't recommend these enough and uh, I did buy these on my own and it's just to test out and stuff so but yeah um, other than that I think they're a great glove if you're looking for a sim racing glove uh, you could do no wrong with checking out these Spar Sparco Hypergrip gloves. Check out the links below uh, to the various affiliate sites. 
that I have for these. And uh, yeah, leave me comments of what gloves you use and what you like and or any questions that you may have about these Sparco Hypergrip gloves. I really dig them and I think you will too. So till next time, we'll see you on the track. I'm out. Thank you.